have the first big winter storm coming in tonight. That's tomorrow afternoon. Look at that red over there. Yeah, that's actually still tomorrow morning. Are you ready for adventure? Subscribe now because we're getting ready for the great Siberian sushi run. To do tech talk with me before I even had a sip of tea yet. There's no tech talk before tea. Why do you want to speak tech talk to me? I just want to tell you about what these do. What are they? And why they're better for what are we want. tech talking about this morning? These are alternator regulators. Well, you tell the audience real quick. Like, real quick. <laughs> just what they are real fast, and then I will get a cup of tea. So what these are is um, like what you guys have seen before. We have a decently large lithium bank, and they'll take a lot of amps. So we've, we've got it set up to where the generator is going to be running two alternators that are fairly large, uh, and then there will also be an alternator on each main engine that's going to be equally as large. So what these regulators do is they tie in together before what I had to do is I had to make my BMS control all the alternators by or the regulators by turning them off on each generator or main engine these actually talk so they network in all all four of them and then they read one current sensor so what happens is is there's a master and then three slave alternator controllers so it when we're underway and we have say both the engines running it will control the amperage down to where it needs to be and then say for example we're cruising with both engines and one generator running it will control the amperages of all four of them to maintain so it's not overcharging or undercharging or or whatnot so it's it's pretty exciting stuff so this is what he does in the morning he wakes up and reads about this but he's got no one to tell it to so Janice wakes up and I have to go blah. He, yeah, he's going to blah me. So I'm going to drink my cup of tea while he blahs at me. And Maggie's going to just get, get some close. love. Okay, tech talk with Blaine. We have the first big winter storm coming in tonight. Um, it's very red. You guys can see right there. It's like yucky, yucky, yucky. So Blaine is just turning on the computer. We use time zero and just see what it says. We're gonna use this monitor and this one. Uh, How am I gonna read this one? It'll read both. Okay, so I'll let you guys know as soon as this all sets on. Sets on? Gets on. Sets on? Sets on! So that shows where we are. So roughly, roughly accurate. And then I will play. Okay, so that's tomorrow at two o'clock. Okay, what's that? Twenty nine. Coming from the, the east. Okay, that's not bad for us. It's coming from the east, and that's wind. bad for that side for Sydney. Okay, keep going. Yep. Yeah, so I mean that's twenty, just under twenty knots. That's tomorrow afternoon. Look at that red over there. Uh, that's actually still tomorrow morning. Looks like we're going to be protected though. And it kind of goes away by tomorrow. I think means, we might be pretty good. Maybe, but when it comes from that direction, I find we get really rolly. Because the boat okay. points that way, but we get waves coming in this way. You need to go get the windlass together tonight. That's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> that is not happening. We are just going to suffer through. Not all we can do right now.
winter storm's about to hit. Um, don't know what the wind's going to be like, but we are not prepared for it. So we are battening down the hatches and all the windsurfing equipment and kayaking and everything. So we've got everything tied down now. Solar panels, just moving that trap to the bottom deck. Kayaks are all tied down. And Blaine is just trying to unseize some of the little clamps that hold down the solar panels. So he's off to do that because we've got to hook our solar panels down on the outboard side. So on the outside and it's hard to strap them down there. So hopefully he can unseize these clamps and they'll work. your bum. Did what you find work? some brackets? Yeah. Look behind you. I'm kind of busy right now. Ooh, look at that cool cloud. We might be in for some wind tonight. That one looks nasty. little update on the windlass. I'm making good headway here because I've got the center plate actually tacked uh, top and bottom and I've got my my backlash set on my main gear here so that's all good as you can see I've got uh, the, the uh, worm gear down there is all set and that turns by hand nice and easy so everything's happy there so now I'm just kind of doing some trial fitment. I had to break these sleeves loose again because uh, they were binding in here. But uh, I think what I'm going to do now is, oh, sorry, let me flip that around, is I'm going to break the tacks on the back side of this guy and uh, see if I can straighten him out a little bit. I think he's a little bit uh, sideways there and it's binding when I've got this plate tacked up here. So... Yeah, that's where I am. And I've tacked it down to the main plate. This is not where it's going to be. I've just got it tacked to the plate just to hold it. Um, as you can see, it's it's way over to one side here. So I said just temporarily put there to hold it in place. 
winter storms are here. That's actually really pretty though. I don't mind winter storms as much when we have warm weeks. It is a cold, yucky day. Well, not yucky, it was raining. It's just chilly. And we haven't um, put on our heater yet. So we're just dressing warm. Blaine is on the couch with a toque on. But I just put the Instant Pot together to make some chicken rice soup because it is definitely a soup day. And look at Blaine is like on the couch with his toque on. What are you researching? Uh, researching NEMA 2000 issues. Lane, if you want soup, it's ready. Yeah, thank you. For his inverters that I installed. <clears throat> oh, this is some good smelling chicken soup. So we are sitting outside because why not? And I am reading on the Great Siberian Sushi Run. We are Still planning this trip to sail from here to Japan. It's gonna be a bit crazy, but you have to start doing a lot of research ahead of time. It is toast resistant. <laughs> Say hi to everybody, how bundled up you are. Hello. <laughs> is it raining? Yes, but we have no water anywhere. Nothing? Nope. Yes! No leaks. No leaks in the antenna mass. No leaks in Izzy's area. No leaks from the horns. Weird. Of course there's no leaks from the horns. I covered it all up. <laughs> oh, that's good news. No leaks anywhere. Doesn't look like it. Oh my goodness! No leaks! Even Izzy's overhearing. <laughs> Yay. We did it. We have a leak-free boat. <laughs> You're hiding stuff. Ta -da! Ta -da! I still have to finish polishing it, but put this down. Sit somewhere, somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. Maybe even farther back. Farther back. Back, 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 back. Right there. Line the aft edge up with there. Oh, with here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that works. And then just scooch it in a little bit. Yeah. So somewhere in there. Yep. There. There. So I don't know what's going on, but we we're just on the bow drinking our tea. And we see this. It's a fire. But we don't see anybody near it. So we're going to go check it out. Fire extinguisher is right there. Okay. Is this the full one? Yeah, <laughs> from the wheelhouse. So again, we were just sitting on the bow having tea and I noticed the smoke and I'm like, well, that is the weirdest thing. Like, why would someone have a fire on a slope like this? Spot fire, but he's got a barrel there. He's got a barrel there. I got it. Thank you. I will.
those fire extinguishers done already. I'll get a hold of them. Somehow. I do. Let's see if there's a hose. Hello? Starting over here in the brush. Okay, where, where, does, where does the dude work at? Art, place? Okay, it's uh, just like the, the sod underneath is lit up. Uh, we've noticed when we were out we don't have coffee. Okay. Yeah, well, I was like, we were watching flame as it was starting. Oh, really? Thank you. Yeah, you've got flames. Days past the rain when that was, that was before Well, that's the what we thought was weird. And yeah, I just kept okay. something to smoke. Right yep. The owner's coming down playing with the hose. This is an amazing fire. It, it travels right underground. He's gonna have to build a trench. Yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna say I'll just. It's all underground here. When, when we got here. Oh, I've seen. Smoke has traveled back up and through. I've seen this many times, and you've got to dig a whole trench now. Okay, well, I'm gonna go have tea again. I think we've emptied our... We have people on it. We've emptied our fire extinguisher. We went up all those f***ing stairs. <sighs> yeah, he's gotta get a shovel. That fire is underground, man. That's scary. He said he works for the fire department? Yeah. Okay. Guys, that was scary. Fire scares me. Maybe why we live on a boat and we're so, but it's been so dry, British Columbia has been burning. So when you see something like that and no one notices it, my adrenaline is just pumping. Everybody's so calm up there, but it was just like running up these steps. Okay, we're going back to the boat. We'll have a cup of tea. The homeowners have that sorted out. They can deal with it now. You smell. I reek of smoke. Oh, you look sexy. Take off hurts. your shirt. You'd be like a sexy fireman. Dun, dun. No, nobody wants to see that. Okay, you could be my sexy fireman. 